So Hugging Face just uh, released a audio LDM pipeline. Uh, the audio LDM is uh, basically a transformer model and a um, diffusion model that lets you uh, generate audio from text prompts. So let's have a listen to what that sounds like. So the prompt was something like swords clashing. Uh, I asked for two of them, two swords clashing, but uh, I obviously got a lot more. Um, let's listen to the next one. So that's a lot higher quality. Uh, for this one, I specifically asked for something cinematic. I think it's this one. And it sounds a lot cleaner. Uh, you can in influence how clean it sounds too, uh, at the expense of taking a bit longer to, uh, to run. Uh, this is the amount of uh, noise reduction it's going to do, how many steps of noise reduction it's going to do. And you can specify how long um, each file should be and how many you want. Um, one thing I did notice is that it has a tendency or a bias towards music, it seems like. So I'm trying to um, get rid of that through this negative prompt. Um, yeah, so I'm having a bit of trouble with uh, getting uh, PyTorch to recognize my, um, my GPU. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to run this on the CPU, which is going to take some time. So my plan is to run all of these prompts uh, tonight while I'm asleep and, and have a listen to them in the morning and see what kind of uh, what this, uh, these models can do. So welcome back. Uh, it's now generated a bunch of sound effects. Uh, and we're going to take some time to listen to what it came up with. So, uh, we're going to be listening in alphabetical order. Um, let's start with the ambience, a uh, stream near a summer meadow. Yeah, sounds like a stream near a summer meadow. It got some birds in there. And some like water drops. Uh, it's still a bit noisy. Could do with some more noise reduction. But uh, so far, pretty good. Let's check this next one. Okay, that does sound like a party from the 90s. Um, it kind of defaulted to some musically sounds, maybe like some heavily distorted drum and bass stuff. Uh, again, probably due to uh, noise. Mm, yeah, that was nowhere near the prompt that I gave it. So pretty bad. Uh, let's check out these dragon sounds. That sounds kind of more like wind than anything else. Uh, the prompt was a big dragon's roar. Mm, not quite feeling it. Uh, let's check out the other dragon sounds. It's like bursts of wind. I think that's the closest one so far. Uh, that was a big dragon roar, instead of a dragon's roar. Let's check the last one. Again, sounds more like wind. I'd probably use it in an ambience track or something. Um, yeah, next ones up are the fire sounds. So I have fire cinematic and I have regular fire. Uh, let's do the regular ones first. Uh, an intense burst of fire. Oh, I did add cinematic in it. Uh, well, let's see how it sounds. What it sounds like. Uh, it's not a single burst of fire. What, which is what I expected, but uh, 
that does sound pretty cool. Uh, I like the the base of it. Let's see the next one. Some more bursts in there. Um, what was the prompt for that one? Uh, a fireball exploding. One thing I feel needs experimentation is figuring out when it generates sounds that are short versus filling the entire sound with uh, audio content. Because uh, right now it seems uh, pretty random, uh, but I think you can probably guide it uh, in one direction or another. Um, fire cinematic 01, a cinematic intense burst of fire. Okay, uh, I mean, it does have some fiery qualities to it. Uh, next one. So that I could probably use for layered with some other sounds to create an actual fireball. Uh, and I like that kind of ambient fire sound that's... Uh, lingering in the end it's very low don't know if you can hear it um, next one up is footstep okay that also defaulted a bit to music just as the construction thing some like synthy sounds in there um, the prompt was something like footstep in yeah, wet sand. I uh, didn't quite get that one. Uh, let's listen to the gems. So, video game, uh, video game acquire gem sound effect. Let's see what it came up with. That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, could probably use that for something. That was bright shining gem sound effect, uh, and I did this uh, the same prompt th three times just to be able to see what different stuff it can come up with uh, with the same prompt. Okay, next one. It sounds kind of like all otherworldly and weird. Uh, Like some alien <laughs> or something. Um, definitely something that's usable. Uh, next one up is hammer, hammering a nail into wood. Hmm. I have cinematic versions and non-cinematic versions. So we're going to listen to the non-cinematic versions first. It sounds like hammering a nail into wood. Um, except there is a bit of noise. Um, but otherwise it sounds pretty good. Uh, next one. Yeah, I don't get a lot of the wooden qualities from that, but... Uh, except for in the, in the large... the large bang in there. Let's do the next one. Also being able to separate a single sound from a lot of sounds. I mean, I guess that uh, is kind of the same problem as filling, trying to fill the entire file with audio content. Um, but still, you might want to have multiple examples of single sounds uh, throughout the file. Um, so that sounds the most realistic so far, I feel. Or like maybe the first one, actually. With the exception of the... With the exception of the um, noise. But... I like how isolated this is. It's e very easy to go in and grab one of those sounds and use it together with something else. 
Okay, let's listen to the cinematic ones. Okay, so what it basically did is just add a lot of bass. Uh, so I guess cinematic is synonymous with bass. Uh, I guess that kind of makes sense. Uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, it sounds kind of more like a gunshot. Maybe, uh, or something. Uh, I'm not sure I would know it's a hammer if I didn't write it down. Uh, let's see, next up are swords. Uh, so I have a whole collection of swords. Let's just go through them and talk about them after. Okay, so I think metal in general needs more noise reduction. Um, but some of these were very clean, like this one. That one too. That sounds kind of like a bell. <laughs> um, all of these are kind of flimsy. Uh, maybe it's because it's ringing out a bit too much. Uh, so maybe I should guide it into not ringing out. Um, something worth experimenting with. Uh, next one up is video game sounds. So here I asked it to give me six sound effects from 90s video games. Or that sounds like it was made for 90s video games. So let's see what it came up with. Yeah, that sounds pretty accurate. Uh, I guess so. I mean, a lot of 90s video game sound effects was based on noise. That's kind of interesting. Uh, so some of these are definitely workable. Uh, last sound up is Water01. Uh, I asked for splashing water high quality. That actually sounds kind of interesting. Um, and I think could definitely use that for some, some weird effects. So yeah, I think in general, um, this is just like a first try. I think uh, we're going to get better results once we discover more how to guide the model in a specific direction. So while I wouldn't use these sounds generated by this model as is. Uh, I could definitely use them as kind of building blocks for other sounds. That isn't to say that it won't get better because it 100% will. Uh, once we learn how to prompt it properly uh, and other uh, actors will probably come on the market as well with similar models that are fine-tuned differently or maybe trained on different material. Uh, maybe they have better denoising algorithms. So, you know, uh, this is just a starting point, uh, but it gives you an idea of what we can do with text to audio. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I certainly thought it was interesting. Uh, so yeah, see you around.